Okay. <sighs> Going up. Going up. All the way up there. That's it. I'm not regretting it, but that is quite steep. Okay. Let's rock! I am Sam Newman. I'm a Denver realtor, and I love exploring our city. Come along with me on the dispatch. So, Swanson and I decided it was time for something different. Yeah, we love kicking around Denver, but there's a whole state out there. Plus, we'd been drinking too much. So we put on the tennies and loaded up the Jeep for a drive south to Manitou Springs, because we heard they had a staircase into the sky. First, though, we had to conquer I-25. Right now we're in traffic. It doesn't appear that we're on the highway. What's no. the deal? Well, we're taking a detour. See that color? That dark red that's black? Uh -huh. That's not good. Not good. Not good. Okay. Not good. But after a freeway closure and a lengthy detour, we got there. Okay, so what the hell is this thing anyway? Well, the Manitou Incline is actually the remains of an old cable railway that was designed to transport building materials up the mountain for construction on a water pipeline. After the pipeline was finished, the railway acted as a tourist attraction to haul people up the side of the mountain. Then in 1990, a rock slide wiped most of it out and the free ride was over. But eventually the rail ties themselves were restored with the following decree. You can still get up the mountain, but you're gonna have to earn it. So here we are, reading the stats at the bottom. Established in 1907, about 0.88 miles straight up into the sky, uh, 2,000 feet of elevation gain, 2,768 steps. The record time, that's what I was wondering about, 1642. How fast do you think we can do it? I think we could do it in 40 minutes. 40? Yeah. Okay, so. I'll time it. And we're off. Me, jogging, like an idiot. This might not be very good audio, as we're panting. And yeah, no shit. We've only gone that far. Feeling good so far. It's actually easier to run. Ah, so naive. Head full of hope, lungs still full of air. So seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half. Not bad. Like, I don't know how far we are. Quarter mile. Okay. Not bad. If you're wondering why my right foot does that, a boat fell on it when I was five. Long story. 1,000. Wait, what? 1,000 feet. Okay. Halfway in, we're doing okay. But this is where it starts to get real. It gets really, really steep up there. What do you think? I'm into it. Warmed up. Yeah, we get. I got my first sweat going. First, I think I'm on my second. I got these long legs. Do you think it makes sense? Is it easier to do two steps at once or one at a time? I think it's about pace. Okay. Right? If you can stay. Consistency? Tortoise in the hair, dude. That doesn't answer my question, but okay. Here we go. This is, we're getting into the real thing here. Okay. It's got these little turnouts too. Yeah. People can take a little break. Casey needs to barf. Cool. 1,400 feet. This, this is where we separate the men from the boys. I'm in the ladder camp. You got a sweat update. It's not too sweaty. I, did, I had visions of jogging this. That lasted about 100, 100 yards. Can you see down there? Yeah. It's a good view. A beautiful view. It's pretty down here. Here I've reached critical mass. Legs burning, sweat everywhere, desperately out of breath. It's one of those states of being that, if not uniquely Colorado, is at least exclusive to the mountain regions. Pushed halfway to death by physical exertion, but surrounded by sweeping, majestic views. It's an ass kicking in paradise. And even in the midst of it, the context screams at me that maybe this really is what exercise is supposed to be. Exertion, but also adventure. Okay, okay. It certainly beats the hell out of a treadmill. <sighs> Dispatch on three, one, two, three. <sighs> Fuck this. Feels like we're taking more breaks than we did earlier. <clears throat> Ah, just gotta keep going. That's life, baby. As we reach what I thought was the summit, Swanson, a literal Iron Man, 
is messing with me. Wait. So Sam, wait, is this the summit? No, we thought this was. Oh! Full summit. No! Oh. One more. What is a false summit, Sam? Forget it. <laughs> See you later. So we approach the actual summit and my legs barely work. As they say, it's always darkest before the dawn. That thing back there, right down when I was like, oh, well, the record's 16, we're already here. I feel pretty good about it. That was an enormous miscalculation. It's a much younger, more naive man. Sam, we got 90 seconds to make it in 45 minutes. The summit, a feeling like few other. No matter the length of the hike or the elevation gained, there is a serene sense of accomplishment that comes with finally reaching the top. The adventure has peaked, literally. It's a time to rest and introspect. A lot of the viewers don't know, Swanson is a legit endurance athlete. He does uh, Ironmans, whole big races in all these exotic locales. And uh, at the beginning, I was feeling pretty good. You know, he was going behind a little bit and I was moving pretty good. I'm like, I feel good. Swanson's, you know, I'm, I'm keeping up with him. And uh, he was slow playing me <laughs> because at the end, I felt the, the endurance because I went, you, and he went, you. So uh, way to hustle me, buddy. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race, homie. That's right. I guess so. Yep. We went incline up. We're actually going to take the cool scenic way down. The bar trail. Two and a half more miles on the way down. We got beer to drink. Got Ironically, beer. it's the bar trail. <laughs> Bar's at the bottom. We set off on the less challenging, but even more beautiful route down. Let's check out this view. I'm coming up on you. Oh. This feels like a TikTok video, which has some like weird Sarah McLaughlin music behind it. What a great view. Swanson's vocals notwithstanding, it's been a great day. But you may have heard there's beer at the bottom. We have one more stop, at Goat Patch Brewing in Colorado Springs. So, it's time to get a move on. I love hiking. But if there's one thing I love more than hiking, it's the beer that comes after the hike. There's something about earning it that just makes it taste better. And I have it on good authority that Goat Patch is one of the best breweries in town. Two, three, you talk. The IPA's hitting nice on an empty stomach. I know I said that thing about drinking too much earlier in the episode, but this isn't drinking. It's having a beer. The beer, too, kicks booty. I'm not a huge IPA guy, but both their New England and American IPAs just hit the damn spot. And our new friend Mike was kind enough to chat with us about it. We're the home of the balance brews, man. So it's kind of one of those things like we really try to pitch that uh, we've got some of the best beer in town, man. We're really proud of it. We're coming from Denver, obviously big beer culture. Tell me about the culture and just the vibe here in the Springs. It's definitely changed over the years, uh, become a little cooler. I mean, I think we have like something like 32 breweries here in the city. People should come here, man, just for the atmosphere. I mean, we have a food truck, a different food truck every single day. Um, we've got new brews on tap monthly, honestly for a good time, man. A good time, man. Few more prescient words have been spoken in breweries. So this is it, where our exploit ends. As the sun lowers on this day of recreation, I can't help but feel, at the risk of overstating it, a bit closer to the maker than I was six hours ago. The tension and release of a hard hike, followed by a bout of unguided leisure, is enough to give one a little glimpse of the divine. From the mountain to the mash tun. It may not be the road to Damascus, but it's a damn good detour. My spirit is renewed. My legs, though, still hurt. See you next time.